Hello Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for October. I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for being here. So we're going to jump right in. Um, please know that this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Check your moon, rising, or Venus. Also, if you need a private reading, I can do that for you. Links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above. I am on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. Check those out. wow um <laughs> a situation gets better i don't know if there was some love issue that you were having uh or a problem with a person um it's kind of like you were getting used to it being whatever it was i'm gonna say that and all of a sudden some help comes in this could be an offer from this person this could be i don't know something comes in to help but it's, it's almost like it was timed this way, you know, like, like it was a spirit led confession or spirit led move, um, that gets two people either connected that were having issues, or if you your love life was on the downslide, it's coming back up for sure. Okay. Six of swords, queen of cups. Nine of Cups, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, Lovers. Yeah, yeah. You got love coming here for sure. Seven of Pentacles and Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some uh, those of you who are putting time and effort into a relationship... Okay, you're going to get some sort of clarity about what was going on there. I feel like it's like due time. It's due time for you to get those answers. For those of you working on achieving relationships, I feel like something's coming in to let you know that you were doing right on the path that you were on. Yeah, I feel like you're a, you were on a path of finding nurturing in your relationships or in your love life, Aquarius. Um, you know, you just wanted what you wanted, you know, it's like, I finally want to come to some sort of conclusion. I want to be comfortable, happy. Why can't my dreams come true? It's almost like you were getting settled in whatever, I'm going to say the word shenanigans <laughs> was going on within your love life. Um, I do feel like you were trying to be as nurturing as possible, but also distant it's kind of like logically you had to find some sort of distance so you won't you won't be hurt by the situation. But I feel like you have a a, a message coming in. Somebody's coming in to say something to you for sure. And it's going to seem like a wish come true, really. Um I feel like you're ready to nurture it. You're ready to at this point to receive whatever this is. Okay. But I feel like the problem is changing your life. You know, like changing how you were going about things, trusting this person, feeling like you can open up, feeling like you can trust. I feel like that's the biggest thing here. I do feel like things are not going to be easy. Um, I feel like you're going to have a hard time accepting this. This offer. And you know, when, when you have done things by yourself or disconnected, it's hard to reconnect and you feel like it's a heavy burden. Like it's a lot of responsibility to do that. But even though it's a lot of responsibility, I feel like you're going to be open to it. It's like you have to get over a hump and then you're going to give in to it because this person really does want to be with you. They have a desire to make things work. You're their choice. 
and they want to start something. This person is going to be very direct, consistent about their feelings. But really the big thing here, Aquarius, is for you to see it. Um, for work, I see you encountering some problems in October, um, like life problems, just little things. Um, and they add more stress to you, but I feel like with, with your love energy lighting, lightening up your spirit, if you're consistent with dealing with these issues, they will be fixed. Almost like overnight. It's almost like, <laughs> you know, I feel like you're releasing a lot of worry, Aquarius, in October. Like, why am I being worried about stuff? It's like a door has opened for something good to you. It would be foolish to close the door. Okay. Yeah, someone's coming in to offer you a new beginning, right? And you're confused about this person's intentions or this new beginning, right? Um, but But all new beginnings come with a little bit of confusion. Um, I feel like spiritually this is brought together. And what's interesting is Aquarius, you don't see it coming, you know, it's kind of like you had the, I don't want to say doomsday feeling, but the feeling like nothing was going your way or everything was like kind of falling apart, you know, and you were expecting something negative to come next or something bad to come, but really something good came for you, right? Uh, something beautiful, something, some success came to you from all your patience, really, is what I'm seeing from all your patience and all the struggles that you went through. It's like a gift from the universe, even though I don't see the bouquet, but you're confused about a new beginning, but really with the man here. It's up to you to take an offer. You know, it's like the door is open for you to walk into it. And it is a relief from the burdens that you've had. But you're just confused on whether to try this. I do see this person being very consistent, though, about wanting to start a new beginning. I don't see what their future mind is. But I do see both of you having very strong opinions and that being a problem. Um, but I don't feel like the other, this person's going to back down just yet because they have a desire to bring two together, you know? Yeah. For those of you who are, are going to encounter a few issues that come in, you know, don't make them bigger than they seem. I feel like as, as soon as you start working on them, um, or step forward to resolve an issue, it'll be resolved. There's no big deal. It's more about you thinking that it's going to be harder or bigger than it really is. Okay. So. Your first card is let go. This is really about letting go of the past, 
letting go of what was hard. You know, we all go through ups and downs and trials and tribulations and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we have to let them go, you know, in order to see the beauty that is coming in after those hard times. That's what that card is telling me. And then financial health. So, yeah, financial issues, problems that arise in your life are going to be easily knocked down in October. You know, you just have to actually deal with them. Okay. Abundance really is what's coming through th with that card. And river of blessings. Yeah. Releasing constraints. Things that were holding you back or things that seem complicated are going to seem a little bit more clear. I'm not saying that it's not going to be complicated because, you know, emotions are, are a whole plethora of, of spider webs. Okay. <laughs> um, but but at least you'll have some sort of foundation to grow off of. So this is really good. Thank you, Aquarius. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.